Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we were here in Saffron City, we defeated the gym leader, we obtained the badge, the sixth badge. In today's episode, we're actually going to be going after the seventh badge, which I know we can now get. Now, I'm going to make my way to Pallet Town. You can do this two ways. You can go Fuchsia City and go all the way through the Seafoam Islands, or what I prefer to do is you can go straight to Pallet Town. And that'll take us right down to Cinnabar. It's pretty fast. It doesn't take very long. And I think we'll be good. As you guys remember, we taught our Lapras Surf. So we can now actually begin making our way, you know, downwards and onwards. And I'm kind of excited to make it to Cinnabar. It's one of those places that I always felt was kind of cool. You know, it always had a really cool atmosphere to it. One of the main things I remember from when I was a kid is probably that episode where Charizard took on uh, Magmar. I think that was one of the things that really caught my eye. I remember just watching it back. I think I actually just watched it a little bit ago too. You know, since it's up on Netflix, like Pokemon's up on there, I've been watching it, you know, a little bit here and there. And I think that was one of the episodes on there and I was just like, man, Charizard is so freaking awesome. Like this Pokemon is absolutely the best. And you know, I'd say in Gen 1, Charizard definitely was and that's just what the Cinnabar Islands remind me of I think that episode was like really cool it was kind of weird though I remember that the Magmar was like inside the lava or just something really weird like that like it came out of the lava and it came flying up I'm like do you not have a Pokeball dude I'll lend you one you know if you're gonna keep your Pokemon in the lava I don't know what the heck they're doing I'm not sending Charizard in lava you know maybe maybe your dude's doing that I'm not about that life but hey I'll lend you a pokeball if you really need it that bad dude and that's just what I always thought I thought it was so weird to see like a Pokemon like that I thought for the longest time too that Magmar was like a legendary or something I don't know why I guess just looking at him he looks kind of like that that he would be you know some sort of special Pokemon some legendary some kind of big shot you know there was something more to him and that's something that I always saw as a kid. I was just like, there's got to be something more to him. I think I actually have a Pokemon card of his. You know, I didn't collect them that much, but I did have a few. The packs were expensive when I was a kid. I remember, like, my parents wouldn't buy me them or something just because they were, like, six bucks a pack. They was something ridiculous like that. But I had friends who gave me cards and things like that. And I remember, uh, I think it was one time where I found a Magmar card. I think it was on the ground somewhere. And, uh, you know, I liked it ever since. I thought it was a really cool Pokemon. It's kind of surprising. I've never really, like, had a Magmar or used a Magmar. Because I actually think it's really, really cool. And it would have been, you know, nice to experience that. To try out a Magmar once in a while. Alright, guys. We have arrived here in uh, Cinnabar Island. And this is where the magic's going to happen. We're going to make our way inside the gym. But wait. The door is locked. Who locked the door? All right, was it Sully? I feel like someone's trying to, you know, trick me up here. I feel like someone's trying to mess with my business. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple things in this place. Max repels. That is what I need the most of all. I know, it's probably a waste to buy them. I know you guys will tell me that super repels do just the same. But honestly, yeah, I'm kind of lazy. This will make it so I don't have to use them as often. And I think we'll be probably better off in that way. All right, guys. So now that we can't get into this gym, as you guys could see, there is something we can do here. Cinnabar Island. The fiery town of burning desire and there's some weird building why don't we head inside then and see what awaits us inside of the pokemon mansion who lives here is this someone rich you know what i'm saying is it is it a nurse joy is this where the nurse joys get trained the pokemon mansion because there's some pokemon royalty oh that was that was bad let's make our way upstairs i vaguely remember this place guys and by that i mean i don't really remember it but i'm gonna try my best because that's what i do in games you know, like I've mentioned to you guys before, I don't remember this game too much. I've played it a lot, definitely. But I think I'm the type of person that forgets these things once in a while. I think the only game that I probably remember 158% is Ocarina of Time. That game I could probably play blindfolded and still be awesome at it just because, like, oh, I love that game. That's probably the game I beat the most. If I had to count, right, like counting-wise, I think that would probably be the game... Um, that I de beat the most. I, th I must have beat it, like, at least, like, 30-something plus times. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I honestly have. That's one of those games that, even right now, I could probably play and have a pretty good time with it. Just because I loved it, and I enjoyed it so much, and I think it's absolutely amazing and one of the best games ever made. Huh. Let's see. I think I know what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, basically, all you have to do here is activate these switches or deactivate them and they uh, open a bunch of different doors as you can see it's like a Mewtwo statue too because I think this is somewhere where they 
created Mewtwo or something. I don't know. But there's a lot of lore. All the books that you see on top of the tables, they actually have a little bit of information about Mew and Mewtwo. And it's kind of cool. You know, it's kind of nice seeing that, that they put something like that into the game. All right, let me see. I think I'm going the right way here. All right, let me just look around, though, because there's actually a couple good items that I want for us to get. Let's see what this one is. There we go. TM14 Blizzard. Let me know if we should teach that to our Lapras. I don't know. The only bad thing about Blizzard is the accuracy, and we already have Ice Beam, so I'm just kind of, eh, you know, a little hesitant about it. We're almost done here, though. I thought the Pokemon Mansion was going to take us a little bit longer. Let me go down here first. And right here, we have obtained TM22 Solar Beam. So I am going to be teaching Solar Beam to our Venusaur. And last but not least, we got the Secret Key. I wonder what the Secret Key does, guys. I don't know. You take a guess. Let me know what you think it does. I think it might open something secret, but I don't know exactly what it's going to be. All right, well, we haven't took on any Pokemon battles, but it's kind of exciting. I think we're looking good. Uh, I should. Nah, I don't need to heal up a Chew. I don't think a Chew will get too much action here. We are ready to enter Cinnabar Island's Pokemon Gym. Take on its leader, Blaine, the hot headed Quizmaster. Hot headed, you say? I'm a little hot headed. Yo, champ in the making. The hot headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals, too. Wow, this dude is the funniest guy ever. Burn heals. What a nice gentleman. Now, another cool thing about this gym is instead of battling these dudes, which I'm sure you could if you talk to them, you can actually go up to these machines, the Pokemon quiz machines. All right, well, you know, if you've ever took the SAT or the LSAT, these questions are much harder than that. So for uh, for $10,000, 10,000 Poke Dollars, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Woo! Man, that is a doozy. Yes! There we have it, guys. Woo! Look at that. We're, we won the $10,000. Who wants to be a Pokemon millionaire is what I like to call this game. I think it makes it a lot more fun. All right, here we go. Another question. This one is for, I don't know, $50,000, I, th I think. I don't remember how much they do it on who wants to be a millionaire. Let's see what this question is. Oh, all right. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. You nope. There we go. If I got one of these wrong, I'd uh, I'd feel kind of kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little down on myself. All right, for a hundred thousand. Here we go, guys. Pokemon quiz. Get it right. A hundred thousand. Let's see what we got. Poliwag evolves three times. Yay! We got one right. Who would have thought I would get something right about Pokemon evolutions? I don't know. I don't know about you. All right, here we go. For $250,000, guys. I hope you're ready for this one. This one is big bucks here. Big bucks. All right. $250,000 Poke Dollars. I don't even know how many more questions we have. Are electric moves effective against ground type Pokemon? No. Oh, my goodness. What if I would have gotten that wrong? I would have been pretty down on myself. Pretty down on my luck. All right, guys. This is for half a million. All right, guys. Half a million. I know. It's going up quick. It's going up quick. Woo. This is a big question. Let's see what we got coming then. Pokemon of the same kind of level are not identical. Wait, what? What? Po Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical? Yes, they are? Wait, wait, this question's confusing me. No, they're not identical? Oh my gosh, what? The question confused me. I'm not even kidding. The question just outright confused the heck out of me. It's all right, we have a Pokemon battle. You ever have those questions where you read them in your head and you're just like, what? Like, obviously, if the Pokemon are the same level and the same Pokemon, they're not identical because they're two different, you know, people. That was a really confusing question. I don't know. I guess we lost who wants to be a millionaire. That's okay. I could have used a phone a friend. That's what I should have done. I should have just hit up, you know, one of my buddies, Mo or something. Yo, I need you to answer this question for me. Half a million dollars on the line. We got that wrong. Dang it. Dang it, imaginary who wants to be a Pokemon millionaire. Dang it! We almost had that imaginary half a million Poke Dollars. Maybe someday in the future. Maybe we'll pull it off. Who knows? Alright, we gained a bunch of XP, guys. We defeated Burglar Dusty. Wait, what? Somebody, somebody call Officer Jenny. There's a burglar in this gym. Alright, guys. Oh, there's one more left. This is, uh, this is to bring it back. This is to bring it back, guys. Alright, here we go. Last but not least. We can bring it back. We can bring it back. We get another chance. TM28 contain tombstoney the heck is tombstoney is that actually a move watch it actually have became a move i'd be like ah, all right well guys it looks like we're ready to take on cinnabar's gym leader so let's go ahead and talk to him <laughs> i am blaine the red hot leader of cinnabar gym 
My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, you better have burn heal. Here we go, Rodri versus Blaine. Cinnabar Jim's leader of leader Blaine would like to battle. He's got four Pokemon ready to go. I wonder what type they're going to be, though. Could they possibly be fire? And if they're fire, could we possibly have a Pokemon who's going to pretty much crush them? I'm going to go with, yeah, we have Glaze who should pretty much one-hit all of his Pokemon. And if Glaze didn't, I'd be a little surprised, to be honest with you. I think Glaze is about to absolutely destroy them. No, we don't want to learn Safeguard. No, we do not. Am I sure? Yes. I wish they didn't have that. I wish there was a way to remove that where you just hit no one time. Pokemon, if you're watching and listening magically, I don't know, whoever makes you, add that little option in the future. Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, throw it in there. The hit no once, and uh, you forget the move. You know, whatever. You don't have to learn it. Maybe it's some default setting that you have to do. It'd be cool. It'd be nice. Wow, his Pokemon are actually getting trashed by us right now. We're absolutely doing awesome, though. I'm kind of glad. Good on us. We deserve to win a battle here and there. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, ladies and gentlemen, we come out fighting hard. Rapidash, such a pretty-looking Pokemon. I remember that episode where Ash rode a Rapidash in the race. Oh, it was a pretty cool episode, too. I really I like that one. I, I loved riding horses. Since I was a kid, I've always rode horses, and I think they're awesome. I loved riding them. The first time I ever rode a like a horse was in Georgia and it was my fifth grade trip like something like that I don't know we, a couple of us went I went with a friend or something I don't know he was having a trip I don't remember but it was kind of cool so like I went there it was in Georgia and I remember riding this beautiful beautiful horse well at first no they, they pair you they said they pair you with a horse whose personality matches yours the first horse they gave me was this old like horse I don't even remember its name. It sucked. It was so slow, and I was just like, this is terrible. Can I get a new horse? So then me and this girl, who had a slightly less hot-headed personality than me, we traded because her horse was getting out of control or something. That horse's name was Cinder. I fell in love with that horse. It was absolutely just beautiful. That horse was gorgeous. It was so nice. It was, um, it was this black, beautiful horse. It was young. And it was so freaking fast. I, like, honestly, it's probably some of the most fun I've ever had was, was riding that horse. We went through this forest, and I felt like I was Link. I felt like I was in Zelda, you know, riding through this forest. I thought it was, like, one of the most amazing things. If you've ever seen the introduction to Majora's Mask when, you know, uh, the Skull Kid jumps out at Link, um, uh, whatever it is, to steal Pona, but you're walking through that forest, that's what it felt like, that forest at the beginning, and I just thought it was amazing, and it was so beautiful, and man, I wish I could go back. We defeated Leader Blaine, though. I have burned down to nothing, not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge. With that, guys, we have obtained the seventh out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. One more to go. We got 47 to front, was there really job for, for, the, uh, for winning, there we go. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. We received TM38. I'm pretty sure it's Fire Blast. Don't think we'll be needing it, but it's good. All right, guys. TM38 contains Fire Blast. Teach it to Fire-type Pokemon. Vulpix or Charmeleon would be ideal for that move. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are looking good here. I don't think there's much left for us to do. Let me use an es I can't use an escape rope. That's weird. There must be something coming. I it usually does let you use an escape rope no matter what. Who knows? I'm going to go ahead and get out of here then. But, yeah, what I was saying, it was nice riding that horse, Cinder. I wonder what that horse is doing now. You know, I wonder. It's been a long time. I hope it's still alive. It'd be cool to, you know, see it again. Someday I feel like maybe I'll see, like, old friends and old people like that that I remember. I think that'd be really awesome. All right, guys, we're going to make our way out of here. And, hey, who's this guy? Ah! Oh, hey, if it isn't Rodri... Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Um, we're probably not going to be going now. Um, the boat hasn't arrived yet. He'll be waiting at the Pokemon Center over there, guys. And apparently he wants to take us to One Island. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's where you trade, you know, to other generations and that sort of thing. Well, guys, from here on out, give me some tips. You know, let me know what we should do next, and we'll continue from here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.